show you five projects from the spring 2007 show here at ITP that have to do with sustainable technology. Let's take a look. I'm Rob Faludi. And I'm Rebecca Bray, and the project is Sustainable ITP. And the idea behind the, our Sustainable ITP exhibit is to show all the different sustainability um, projects that are going on all at the same time here at ITP. So we really wanted to give visitors to the show an idea of all the different uh, things going into ITP's general sustainability initiative. You know, this is the first show where we've had a whole room devoted to projects that are kind of green themed. Um, so it's a big deal here. Um, and uh, so we've got everything from uh, just photos that show, for example, that we're doing uh, recycling um, and uh, composting every day on the floor um, to things that are uh, really uh, kind of uh, one-time events. You know, this is uh, Andrew Schneider's solar-powered bikini uh, project that he made uh, to uh, to uh, charge your either your cell phone or your iPod, um, and uh, kind of ongoing things like the coffee cup project that started last semester, where we uh, retained all the coffee cups that were brought onto the floor. We had kind of a uh, station where you could rinse your coffee cup. Um, and stack it. And those coffee cups ended up going into student projects. Um, a bunch of them ended up getting shredded and then uh, put into things like furniture, that sort of thing. Um, Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we also, one of the things that we did was we created these labels. So we have a bunch of different labels for, for a lot of the projects that are on the floor. Things like solar powered and human powered. Um, we also have energy efficient. So really what we wanted to do was promote this among students so that you know you could put a little tag onto your project that says solar powered. People ask you about it and they realize that that's possible. They realize that they can use recycled materials or recyclable materials. So it's about kind of spreading that information around the students and also the, um, the guests. Okay, I'm here with Roy. So Roy, why don't you tell me a little bit about your project? Uh, yeah, so um, this is called the Sunstrap, and uh, it's made of 48, 48 um, solar cells. And what they do is they provide a trickle charge for uh, these two batteries here. Um, they give off 4 volts at 10.2 milliamps of current in direct sunlight, and um, the entire thing was handmade for a class called wearables here at ITP. So what exactly does it do? It essentially <laughs> recharges, it provides a trickle charge, which is a charge that replaces the discharge of the batteries when they're not being used. Oh, that's great. And it also looks really cool when you're wearing it. <laughs> Roy, do you have a website? The website for the class would be roy.venegas.org <laughs> slash ITP slash wearables. Great. Thank you. My name is Michael Ang and my project is called Strange Attractor. Uh, it's about the intersection of human and insect aesthetics. So it, it's an artwork which is designed both for butterflies and bees as well as humans as a way of kind of trying to connect them and to see, for example, do butterflies prefer Van Gogh or Warhol? I've been testing these on the uh, rooftop of Postmaster Gallery as part of Natalie Jermanjenko's Ooze project and that's a garden which has been created to bring in for example, butterflies into the urban setting and to try to provide habitat for them. MichaelAng.com, the last name is A-N-G. Hi, uh, my name's Alice Planis, and, um, and Hattie's actually right here. This is Hattie Lim. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, and we worked on this with two other people, uh, Leif uh, Mangelson and um, Meredith. Meredith. Meredith Silverman. And um, basically we made um, modular pieces for solar jewelry. Fantastic. So can you just show us how it works real quick? Yeah. So um, basically we have um, some completed pieces here that are full um, nocturnal circuit. And what it does is these are solar cells right here. And they charge up all day, um, taking in light. And then as soon as the light levels go down, so we'll just kind of do that. Um, then what it does is the drop in the light levels um, in, the, in the power levels actually turns on um, these little blinking LEDs. So the idea is that you can wear your jewelry piece out day, outside all day um, and have it absorb light. And um, basically when it gets dark, um, your jewelry lights up. My name is Jeff LeBlanc and the name of my project is Device Level Power Monitoring. And the basic idea behind this project is that it's a system that will let you look at how much energy every single device or appliance in your house or business is using. This project is going to the O'Reilly Energy Innovation Conference this August in um, San Francisco. 
So it's kind of like a CPU monitor for your computer, but for your appliances. Yeah, and, and the idea is that um, you'll be able to see, you know, not just your total house, but you'll be able to see very specifically how much each and every single thing that you own is, is using. So you can see, you know, for example, you didn't turn off your computer like all week, and that cost you, you know, $5. That is really, really fantastic. <laughs> So, do you have a, a website for it? Um, I do. It's um, jeffreyleblanc.org backslash energy. Hi, Carolina. So tell me uh, the name of your project. My, the name of the project is called Shell House Living Portable. Mm -hmm. And what does it do? My project is part of my thesis project. Uh, it's actually collapsible cardboard shelters for homeless people. And the idea is to grab cardboard from the street and be able by cutting and folding to build a, a collapsible shelter which goes like this, from this shape to this shape. Sorry. <laughs> and you can open and have actually um, the instructions to, of how to build this in the website, shellhouse.org. And then also be able to build this simple, very simple circuit that is containing a radio and a battery and then mail it to a church where I'm testing this project and be able for me to uh, program the radio. Uh, in that sense, I, it's possible to give homeless people a shelter and a portable address. So the whole idea is that anybody can very cheaply and easily do something to help the situation. For 35 bucks, actually, which is really what the radio costs and the breadboard and the very simple circuit, you can make this possible and by grabbing cardboard from the street, the same cardboard that homeless people use already, but customized with this design. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>